privateer FX. Coming at you Wednesday, 24 August. BOC today and our famous budget from South Africa today. Dollar Rand took a spill last night in New York from 1444 to 1424, 20 handles. So, we're primed here to make a big move. The downside, if somehow they pull off a good budget, which I doubt, you gotta sell through 1407. Top side, uh, I don't know, just try and pay an offer, I guess. Things start to clear up after you get above 1434 on the chart, but this is the risky side, the top side. Because uh, even if he does pull off some good budget, people will people will doubt the veracity of what's going on. So let's keep an eye on this. Uh, we got a few hours before this thing comes out. Uh, should be interesting. Dollars are today. Dollar cat also boc today. Going to raise rates. It's just a question of how hawkish or dovish is he going to be. Kind of pulled back into the middle of nowhere now. 130.76. Uh, this thing doesn't come out till I believe 3 p.m. our time. So we're still eight hours away. Let's see where we are on the release uh, and we gotta just watch this and trade the price but this thing is gonna move today Bank of Canada Euro we're all waiting and watching for 114.39 now downside and on the top side 115.50 this kinda defines our little range for now Going into ECB tomorrow, it starts to get bearish. We can clip through 114.39, uh, and there will be stops above 115.50. I wouldn't say it gets bullish, but I know there's going to be some risk up there. Uh, for people who are short, they will cut 115.51 this week. Gold, stay in bid. Even... Uh, with that big equity turnaround last night. That bar. Wow. At one point it was 70 handles off the lows. When we were, when we were up at 56. Uh, still a red day, by the way. Uh, which is interesting in itself. This now is going to trade around in sideways motion. You want to sell this, start selling it up near the 200 day, which is 2770. Uh, but also there's going to be dip buyers now after that bar. So we're looking for sort of a 70-20 range for equities going forward over the next couple of days. Crude got smacked. Everyone thought crude was going to zoom higher with the Saudi crisis, but looks like the market got massively caught. This is now below the 200-day, 67.44. We don't really have a dog in this fight, but just pointing it out, pretty spectacular move in crude. Quick 10 bucks there in the last two weeks. Uh, crude still on its knees on the lows. Let's just take a quick peek at Dollar Swiss. I only bring this up because we're hanging around on this 99.50 area. And I couldn't help but notice yesterday the two year yield. Yield on two year notes in America is approaching 3%. It was 2.92 at one point yesterday. If you contrast that with Sweden, Switzerland, and all of Europe, all of the European two year notes, the yield is negative. Uh, this alone is just going to force dollar Swiss eventually uh, higher. So 
you got negative 75 rates here in Switzerland. Uh, 99.80 is going to be your point. You can see this is gonna, it looks like an inverted head and shoulders now. You all know how much I can't stand trading dollar Swiss. Uh, but if this wasn't dollar Swiss, I would definitely be buying through 99.80, the neckline there. Uh, and of course, it's going to coincide with uh, 114.39. So, Euro will give it a kick, uh, especially with stocks. Now the stocks have bounced. So, keep an eye on this dollar Swiss. So, it's an event driven day today, really. Uh, we've got the events in South Africa, we've got events in uh, Canada. I will leave you guys with that and wish you luck.